Welcome to Now Trending. In this video, we're going to talk about the incredible, incredible things you'll be able to do in the metaverse. All right, perfect. But before we get started, make sure to like this video to get that algorithm going and subscribe to Now Trending for more trending videos. Also, if you have a video you'd like to see next time, let us know in the comments below. Now, it's time to enter the metaverse. What is the metaverse? The metaverse is a virtual world where users, represented by avatars, can shop, socialize, participate in leisure activities, and even work. Many digital corporations, including Facebook, which recently changed its name to Meta, and Microsoft, have prioritized its development. Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, recently gave a video presentation on how the metaverse would revolutionize life. The importance of education was emphasized, saying that learning would take on a whole new meaning. Students might practically teleport to any location or time by wearing glasses or a headset. They might bring any object to learn about, a planet, a human organ, or even a car engine. Aspects of the metaverse have already found their way into academic institutions. The metaverse's true revolutionary potential rests in how it enables more profit in higher education. These advancements may further commercialize the student experience and exploit the work of academics, as new research on digital technologies and higher education indicates. The metaverse promises a seamless online experience in which a single avatar can travel between different venues, such as an online store and a lecture hall. Many of the particular advancements described in Facebook's presentation, on the other hand, are already available in some way. Universities employ virtual worlds like Second Life and even the block-building game Minecraft. They can be used to supplement lectures or to allow remote students to virtually visit a campus. Students in medical and architecture can use virtual reality simulations to practice abilities that are difficult to perform in real life. Humans have had just one world to live in since the start of civilization, the, the real one. But according to computer visionaries, we'll soon have a virtual world where our digital avatars, as well as those of individuals in our towns and around the world, will be able to work, shop, attend classes, pursue hobbies, attend social events and more. Virtual concerts and immersive video games have given us a taste of this world. However, visionaries claim that the metaverse, as this world has been dubbed, will be far more engaging and robust, not only mirroring the real world in all of its three-dimensional complexity, but also expanding it to allow us to be and do things that were previously only possible in our imaginations. Have you ever wanted to watch a baseball game from the pitcher's mound? Float around in a pasture of unicorns? Or become a unicorn yourself? You know, anything's possible in the metaverse, technically. Let us know in the comments below what you think about the metaverse. Are you excited to experience this new virtual world? Or do you think there are worse consequences we'll experience not interacting with the real world? Everything has a future. A look at how technology and innovation are changing the way we live, work, and play. The metaverse will be the world's biggest computer platform revolution. Greater than the smartphone revolution, bigger than the web revolution, says Mark Witten, Senior Vice President and General Manager of Creating at Unity Software Incorporated in San Francisco. Unity is developing tools and services that will allow users to generate metaverse content. NVIDIA Corp, Roblox Corp, Epic Games Incorporation, Microsoft Corp, and Facebook Incorporation are among the main tech giants building hardware and software for the metaverse or their virtual worlds within it. During a July earnings call with analysis, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg remarked, in addition to being the next generation of the internet, the metaverse is going to be the next chapter for us as a company. In the next years, I expect people to shift their perspective of us from a social media company to a metaverse firm. Getting into this enormous new world may necessitate the use of everyday gadgets such as smartphones and PCs. However, customized glasses, which are similar to but less bulky and more comfortable than the current virtual reality headsets, will allow for greater immersion. We'll probably see more haptic gear, such as omnidirectional treadmills that can simulate running, climbing, and other physical activities, as well as devices like haptic gear that allows users to feel virtual items. The metaverse will be the world's biggest computer platform revolution, bigger than the mobile revolution, and bigger than the web revolution. Upgrades to existing computer systems and technology, including more raw computing power and higher quality graphics, as well as a universal framework that allows users to move seamlessly from one part of the metaverse to another, will be required for the metaverse to take off. They also suggest that programming tools that are easy enough for everyone, not just professional developers, to construct their virtual landscapes and experiences will be critical. Privacy and security concerns will also need to be addressed. 
Then there's the issue of the metaverse's possible drawbacks, such as the risk that individuals would become so engrossed in the virtual world that they overlook their real-world obligations. Rachel Cowart, an Ontario, Canada-based psychologist who has studied the mental health of gamers, says of the metaverse, there's a tendency to prefer it to ordinary life, adding that the hazards are larger for children. She explains that their major learning about how to behave and connect with the environment comes from their peers and social contact. It's an important part of how we grow as people. But for better or worse, or possibly both, the metaverse is on its way. Class trips to any location at any time. The metaverse, according to executives from computer companies involved in its creation, will be huge, with duplicates of real-world locations, past, present, and future, all recreated in realistic-looking 3D. It'll be able to accommodate an endless number of users at the same time without the lag time that so often irritates multiplayer gaming players. According to NVIDIA executive Richard Karras, who is helping oversee a metaverse infrastructure project called Omniverse that will allow developers around the world to collaborate in real time to build metaverse content creation software, any number of students from anywhere in the world could meet up for a class trip to ancient Rome, say. The pupil were able to peek into every nook and corner of the Colosseum with an artificial intelligence-powered virtual gladiator on hand to answer questions. More from the future of everything. People will view and interact with one another as avatars in the metaverse, according to computer experts. According to Darren Su, chief executive of Together Labs Incorporation, a creator of social technologies in Palo Alto, California, these would look far more lifelike than the cartoonish avatars familiar to virtual reality fans, thanks to predicted breakthroughs in graphics. Avatars could also represent deceased people, such as family members and friends, as well as historical figures, and bring them back to life with the use of artificial intelligence. You won't be able to discern the difference between a virtual meeting and a physical meeting because the avatar experience will feel so real, Mr. Two says, plus the virtual reality experience will be enhanced. However, avatars will not be the only option for humans to appear in the metaverse. We'll be able to see videos from the actual world, such as live concerts and sporting events, according to the experts. Rather than having to see events from the limited perspectives that producers provide, we'll be able to watch them from any angle we want. We'll also be able to get information on musicians and athletes we're following with a single finger tap, such as their position on the billboard charts and how many points they've scored in a season. We'll be able to merge virtual content with real-world video and engage electronically, for example by throwing virtual tomatoes at football players. The players will be unaffected. Weddings, Tourism, and Virtual Companions According to John Egan, CEO of Latelier BNP Parapaz, a Paris-based forecasting firm, commerce will take place in the metaverse. He anticipates that metaverse users will buy and sell virtual pets ranging from lifelike dogs and cats to dragons and other fantasy creatures, among other things. He also sees a market for complementary services such as pet walking and grooming because virtual companions might be trained to require the same level of attention as real-life animals. Virtual weddings and celebrations are also potential economic prospects, according to Mr. Egan, with providers establishing locations and collecting rental or entry fees. Clients could also be taken to virtual travel destinations by private tour guides. The possibilities are endless, he says. According to visionaries, metaverse entrepreneurs would not accept cash, therefore transactions will likely rely on credit cards and internet payment platforms like PayPal. However, Mr. Egan believes that cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies will play a significant role. These virtual dogs, for example, may have confirmed virtual DNA in the same way as non-fungible tokens or NFTs, authenticating the ownership of digital art. As a result, virtual animals may be bred for speed, allowing for virtual races and wagering, he claims. Pretty cool stuff. A business metaverse strategy. According to Unity's Mr. Wynn, real world businesses will be able to engage in the metaverse by offering virtual copies of their physical locations. Customers can read product descriptions and make purchases in current online retailers. Customers would be able to visit virtual retail establishments in the metaverse and try out things in 3D and at full scale before making a purchase. Before ordering and having a tent brought to his or her real world house, a tall person may test if he or or she could stand comfortably in, right? According to Mr. Karras of NVIDIA, real estate agents may use the metaverse to allow customers looking for a new place to virtually tour residents anywhere in the world without leaving their homes. They could travel through the buildings room by room, scanning their existing furnishings and uploading them into the dwellings to see how it would look. Employers will also use the metaverse's shared 3D surroundings to allow far-flung workers to cooperate in ways that are currently unachievable 
with video technology, according to visionaries. For example, architects and construction firm executives may virtually visit a job site to watch the construction of a new building, which would be depicted in highly realistic 3D together with its surroundings, no matter where they were in real life. Mr. Witten claims that the metaverse promises a big quantum leap for remote labor. You'll be able to design and create things more quickly, more safely, and for less money than you can now. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, subscribe to Now Trending and turn on the notifications before you go. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.